Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Today's festival fair is the Lanson Sea. Now this tank is a very mobile medium tank with an okay gun and that's about it. It has good view range as well at 380 but that's about it. It's kind of almost like a light tank inside a medium tank's body because this tank has an amazing power to weight ratio of 28 and then you combine that with 50 kilometers an hour top speed you know you're looking at a good a good mobile tank um the gun wise is not yeah this gun is not the best you know 208 millimeters of penetration and then you only get 242 you, you're gonna struggle against super heavies which obviously this tank is gonna see being tier 8 it will get into tier 10 games so, yeah, I don't really know. The same, it's the same how the Skoda is, and that tank doesn't have good pen for its premium rounds or its standard rounds. It's going to struggle the same as the Skoda does when it meets Type 4 heavies and Type 5 heavies, mouse, stuff like that. You know, when you meet those type of tanks, you're going to start to struggle a little bit. So this gun is manageable. It's not a bad gun. It's just... When you meet those super heavies, you're going to wish that you had higher premium round penetration. Okay, so let's now compare this to some other tanks that it's similar to in the compare. So as you can see, I've selected the Primo Victoria and the UDES 14.5. Now, the UDES 14.5 is well, it's not as close as it is, you know, to the Lanson C. I mean, both of these tanks, like the Primo Victoria has much better armor. Like I mean, it's just it's just leaps and bounds ahead of the armor for the Lance and C. Uh, the UDS 14 as well. It, it has kind of similar armor to the Lance, and, but of course that is sloped. Even though the Lance and does have some sloping, it's only like 150 millimeters thick total. So you're not gonna bounce anything in this tank unless it's like tier five, which is impossible that it's gonna meet a tier eight tank. So just forget about the armor on this tank because it doesn't exist. DPM wise this tank has 2.1k, nearly 2.2, which is 300 DPM more than the other two. So that's like an entire shot that you're getting off when there's, you know, you're firing at the same time as these two. So there's that to take into consideration. And as you can see, the power to weight of this tank. I mean, look at that. Yes, the UDES does get um, good power to weight too at 25, but it's not 28. As you can see down here, it's got 380 view range, so it's not amazing, but it's okay. It's manageable. It's, you know, it's not 400, which is on the Primo Victoria, but it's okay. This isn't bad view range for a tier 8 medium tank. When you compare it to the T44-100, you start to see how it's very much a light tank in a medium tank's body. Now, although it does get the same view range as the T44-100, you can see that it does get a much better power to weight, and that's really going to help it when it's going up hills or anything with a slight incline compared to the T44-100. So do I recommend this tank? Well, honestly, I kind of do. Um, I don't know why, but this tank, I mean, it looks cool. I think it looks good for a start. It's kind of, it does look like the Leo a little bit, just with a much bigger gun. Um, but the Lantern C is very much a faster medium tank that has a mediocre gun, but okay view range. And I mean, it, if you can make this work, another thing I want to mention is got 10 degrees of gun depression. So you can... Um, you know, play this on ridge lines, stuff like that. The main thing that I would say is if you're a person that likes to kind of be a bit sneaky, um, it's a bit like a tier 8 leopard, um, you know, the tier 10 leopard one. It's a bit like a tier 8 version of that, but the gun is not amazing, and you know, much like the leopard, you're going to get penned basically on every shot, so you really have to not get hit in this tank. So yeah, this um, this tank is okay. It's not the best, but for a certain play style or a certain player, this could be very, very good. 
Again, for a sneaky player that likes to play in their Leopard, this could be a nice tank for you. If you did enjoy this video, then you know what to do, and I'll see you all in a bit.